Yo, what's up everybody? Jumping here and I am back on some Dark Souls. Alrighty, well it's time to go down to the catacombs and I'm really not looking forward to this. I like the catacombs and the Tomb of the Giants a lot. It's a really awesome area, but at the same time, it's kind of intimidating, especially when you first start off in the game. You might wander down here and you're like, what the fuck is this? It's so cancer. But if you can actually get through this area, which you can, just run past everything, then you can really become like overpowered so early because first of all you don't even have to fight the boss which is pinwheel and on top of it he's really the easiest boss in the entire game but you can summon fucking leroy jenkins to come and just murder him for you so you don't even have to do anything in that fight to be quite honest if you do that plus you can make your zweihander a fire zweihander and it's so overpowered because you pick it up up here right before you come down to the catacombs you make your way to the blacksmith, and they will, or at least he will have, I think, right as you're going down there, you can get one green shard, okay? And then what will happen is, you go and talk to him and buy the Titanite shards to get it to plus five, and then you make it a plus one fire Zweihander. And it's pretty fucking crazy, that's for sure. Alright, so I'm gonna kill these guys real quick, and I'm gonna make my way over to this bonfire... So, let me murder some stuff. Now, the one thing about coming down here early in the game, and I was thinking about doing it, but then I thought, hell fucking no, because I knew it was going to be a pain in my ass. The main problem with coming down here is not resting at this bonfire. Like, that is something I highly uh, recommend not doing, is resting at this bonfire right here. Because if you do, like, getting out of here is a total fucking pain. Actually, it's not this bonfire. I take that back. It's, there's another bonfire, and if you, like, rest at that bonfire, you're in fucking trouble, guys. Like, seriously. The chance of you getting murdered is so high trying to get out of here at low level. It's so rage-inducing. Like, I've had it happen to me, and I just wanted to, like, kill myself. Okay, so, let me come over here now, and basically, I'm gonna try to do most of the stuff I can here in the catacombs. I might not even take some of the shortcuts. I could... But I don't think I will. I think I'm going to just kind of like do it legit. Because it's been so long since I've actually done this area legit without doing all of the like trillions of shortcuts. There's so many shortcuts in this area. Now in this game I definitely like skeletons a lot more than I do in the other games. I like the idea that there's a guy which is like the gravekeeper guy. And if you kill him all the skeletons can be killed. Or if you use a holy weapon you can kill them or whatever. So that's kind of nice. And I like the fact they get up. They have bleeding weapons. So these guys are no joke. Like, And the fact that they put this in like the beginning area. Right by Firelink Shrine is really awesome. I really think the idea of the catacombs. Was to scare the fuck out of players. Like they start the game up. And I just, I don't know what it is. Like, I just get a kick out of shit like that. When I think like, oh wow. Like they really put this here just to intimidate new players but yeah i mean you start the game you get past the very first boss which is not that hard but you know if you're brand new to the game it's probably gonna be pretty hard for you then you get to fire link and the first place that the first place that most players find is the catacombs they walk down here and they find all these skeletons and they just get murdered so quickly it's hilarious and then they're like, fuck this game, man. Because you know, you know you have done fucked up when you enter the catacombs and you're getting attacked by all these skeletons. Alright, let me go ahead and push this in. And then I'm going to try to make my way down to the Tomb of the Giants in this episode. I don't see myself actually beating the Tomb of the Giants in this episode, to be quite honest. And that is just because that place fucking sucks. Now, one thing I didn't do... Which I wish I would have actually done it. I kind of forgot about it. But I really wish I would have got the helmet from... I think I think you have to get it from Solaire, to be quite honest. You know what? I probably did get it from Solaire. Alright, yeah, I got it. Because I fought Solaire. So I should have this helmet that will allow me to see in the dark. And I, I really, really like that helmet the most out of anything for this. Because I don't like using this stupid lantern shit. Now, if I remember right, this is a bitch. There's like some fucking lizards here. Let me see if this is the right place. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, this is it. Oh, my God. This is like the cancer area, though, because these lizards are stupid. All right, I got one of them, though. 
get some tweakling titanite i do want to switch weapons guys so i'm just putting that out there but i think if i'm gonna switch i'm probably gonna go with what's that weapon it's the silver knight spear i really want to play with that but i'm being lazy because i really don't want to go and farm for it because i know it's a pain in the ass to actually farm for that damn thing because it's all rng bullshit and i get really sick of that very quickly so I don't know, I'll probably go, or I'll get around to farming for it and getting it and using it for probably the rest of the playthrough if I actually get it. Because I'm actually getting bored with the katana, but to be quite honest, like, I don't really remember me using a katana in any of my Dark Souls playthroughs. Like, for a playthrough, like a PvE, run through the game, get a katana early in the game, and then use it for the majority of the game. I don't really remember doing that, but you guys can remind me if I have. But yeah, I mean, I kind of like the fact I'm using this overpowered katana, and just it's just fun. Like, I really forgot on how good katanas really were, especially in Dark Souls 1. Like I said, they're good in every single one of the games, but in Dark Souls 1, man, they're something else. Like, it's probably because of the way bleed works in this game. It's, like, so damn good. Where in Dark Souls 3, though, I will say bleed is actually not that bad. I do like bleed a lot in Dark Souls 3. Alright, so, the question is, what do I want to do right here? Like, these guys all fall off like idiots. Do I want to... I don't know. I think, I think I'm think i good. Another weapon coming up here, and this is something else, too, that you could get. Like, if you come down here early... Oh, God! I almost walked off. Another weapon here is the Great Scythe, which I'm about to go get right now. Now, I could use this weapon as well, but this is a weapon, honestly, guys, I, I just don't like. I don't know why. I'm going to try to go down here what's down here oh shit okay interesting but i do not like the great scythe like it is such a powerful weapon it's it can be a really awesome weapon i just don't like the moveset because the entire moveset for that weapon primarily is a a jumping attack that's really good like the jumping attack is really good on that weapon it has so much range Besides that, it also has some other cool stuff about it. The power attacks are the main attack that you will use a lot. And also the running attack is extremely good for the Great Scythe. But to me, I just I just don't, I can't do it, man. Like, I get fucking murdered with that thing all of the time. But if you can buff that with, like, Power Within and Dark Moon Blade on it, you can, like, literally steamroll the game on any difficulty and just, like, one-shot practically everything. It's pretty nuts, that's for sure. Will this guy die? Fucking asshole. Now, you're guaranteed to get the Skull Lantern from one of these guys if you actually run around and kill them all. So, yeah, that's kind of a good thing. But right here is definitely the most overpowered spell when this game first came out for PvP. Now, I talked about great magic shield earlier and i said like it was so overpowered now i didn't use the word that it was the most overpowered but to be quite honest for pve it probably was the most overpowered spell for pve when this game first came out just because it made you invincible so if you were like a scrub like it just pretty much um allowed you to go through the game with no challenge whatsoever as long as you could cast a spell you could be hit as many times as you want and it's whatever now when this game first came out tranquil walk peace and this wasn't like for like the first month of the game this was for like the first year of the game like seriously tranquil walk of peace was the most bullshit fucking spell and in fact my very first game of pvp i ever played right i ever played because most of the game i ran around as a hollow i didn't summon anyone i didn't want to summon people to help me for my first playthrough although i was a scrub and i was using like great magic shield and all this eventually but for the entire playthrough of the game i didn't have anyone summoned i didn't do any of that but when i got to the end of the game like the very end which uh where you fight gwen i finally decided to try some pvp so i set it up to be invaded and to invade people and i remember that it was like ridiculous i think i need to say no right i don't remember but it was like fucking ridiculous, man, because um, what happened was, I need to be so careful with patches, he's such a dick, dude. The first guy I ever fought, he cast Tranquil Walk Peace on me, and I'm like, what is this? Like, I, I, I was so, like, salty, and I think he, like, spammed spells at me. So immediately, I went and learned what it was. I'm like, I gotta find that spell right now. So I found the spell, 
and I was such a scrub. Like, God, I was so scrubby, guys. It's crazy. But so what I did was this, right? I got to be careful here. You son of a bitch. Don't do it, please. Don't you do it. Oh, yes. Okay, I, I triggered it. Thank God. But so what I did was this. I was casting Trinkle Walk of Peace. And I was using like uh, Crystal Soul Spear and like Great Fireball or Chaos Fireball. It was so stupid, dude. And then eventually Dork Magic came out. And when Dork Magic came out, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I guess I have to say yes to him to get the humanity. Whatever. But when Dork Magic came out, ah ha ha. They went and nerfed it. Because they needed to. Like, it was so dumb. Like, there was people that literally would use Tranquil Walk of Peace and then, like, use Pursuer. I mean, you're fucking dead. You're fucking dead if they do that. And there's a lot of people doing that shit. And it's like, dude, what the f Really? Like, are you, are you serious? Like, what the hell? There's actually a... If I remember right, there's a video. I don't remember who put this out there. It, it, it might have been Ouroboros, honestly. I think it was Ouroboros. Where the guy kept trying to cast Tranquil Walk of Peace. And he was trying to get him with the Pursuer. And, you know, Ouroboros was, like, fucking with this scrub. And, like, was getting out of the range of it every single time. And eventually... What would happen was, or what happened was, the guy, like, messaged him and gave him hate mail. The, the guy trying to do that crazy bullshit gave Ouroboros hate mail. It's fucking great. So, if you haven't ever seen that video, you should try to look that up or find it on his YouTube channel. It'll be somewhere under Dark Souls 1. And I don't know the name. I don't remember. Oh, my God, that damage, though. Fucking ridiculous, dude. But it, it was definitely one of the best fucking shit. Like, because that was so dumb. Okay. Let me kill this guy real quick. Fuck you. Ow. Ow. Asshole. I need to be careful here. These guys can fuck me up quick. Alright. Uh, there we go. He's dead. Now, I would go and join, like, the, the Death Covenant. But I really don't want to. I don't care about that weapon either. So, whatever. So, I don't think I am... And I'm trying to think, is there anything else? I know I can drop down over here, and that's where you can summon Leroy Jenkins, and there's, like, an item or an armor set or something there, but whatever. I'd rather come over here and do this part, because there's going to be a Black Knight down here. And this is actually where you can get the Black Knight Great Axe. And if I can get that right now, I will use this, actually. Oh, my God, I'm going to get murdered. Fucking stupid shit, dude! I was trying to block! I was trying to pull my shield out! And it was fucking impossible. Alrighty. So, I said I didn't want to do the shortcuts, but I guess I will now since I died. I just hope gravity will not murder me. That's a, a big possibility. But I don't really think I had that many souls or anything, so it's probably not a big deal. Let's walk off here, and then we need to walk off over here. Alright, roll off. Yeah, yeah. And we're good. Now we can get right back to where... I died at and I went ahead and popped some humanities and I think I'm gonna put on the item discovery ring now honestly if I get the black knight great axe the more I think about it it's probably not gonna be a weapon I want to use because my build right now is total dex because of this katana I said like yeah fuck uh, putting any points in the strength I don't, I don't need it like and that's true I don't need any strength right now so there's just no point into putting points into strength and I once again I should have my damn shield out Oh my god! Stop hitting me with that shit, dude! Oh my god, he's so delayed. It's ridiculous. Alright, let's fuck him up now. I'm gonna get behind his ass. Come on, can I get behind you, maybe? Ah, uh, backstabs are so hard sometimes in this game. But he got fucked up. And I didn't get shit, but I didn't actually put the Black Knight... Uh, not the Black Knight, but the ring on. The item discovery ring. I wish I would've done that now. Alright, so we're about to fight some pinwheel. Um, I didn't unlock... Oh god, this fucking shit. Uh, I will actually fight these guys, because I normally just run from these fucks. But I think I'll actually kill them. For fun. But, uh, yeah. What was I gonna say? Fuck you, dick. I didn't get the blacksmith. That, that was kind of a mistake. I, I really should have right there. Fuck you! God, you guys hit fucking hard. Oh, you know what? There's some shit over here. I need to do this real quick. Alright. No, don't hit me! Fucking assholes. Alright, that should have been the last guy, right? And it was, because I got the Skull Lantern. What is... Th this is how you get back up top. I don't need to go back up top right now. And where are the rest of the damn pinwheels? 
I'm gonna get like totally bone wheels. I call these guys pinwheels all the fucking time. But that's because of the fucking boss. Like, I don't know why. Alright. Fucking kill these. It's because of that wheel in there, probably. Why is this guy called Pinwheel, though? Please, someone answer me this. Because there might be... There might be an answer to that in the lore somewhere. But I doubt it. I just know... I know his lore. His lore is interesting. He's actually got a really fucked up story, this guy does. But the thing about it is that... Why is his name Pinwheel? That's, that's my question. He's, he's not a wheel at all. The, I don't know about the pin... It's kind of confusing, to be quite honest. It's actually really confusing. Yeah, but this guy's lore is fucked up. I might actually tell a little bit once I beat him, but let me go down there now. Yeah. All right, this should be, like, the easiest fight ever. If I die to, like, to this guy, I, I will literally, like, yeah. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I four-shot him. I was about to say, if I die, though, like, it would have been the most pathetic thing in the history of this game. Now... This is the question in RN Jesus. I hope he does me good. I don't know. Everyone in these masks are good besides the mask of the child. But watch me get the mask of the child. Let's see. Oh, mask of the mother. Nice. Okay. They nerfed that shit too, by the way. That shit used to be a lot more overpowered than it is now. But it's whatever. Alright, now let me see if I have this helmet real quick. And I guess I'll quickly talk about the lore behind pinwheel because it is kind of fucked up and i don't have that helmet god damn it well whatever i'll just put the shield on for now uh that sucks anyway so basically it was like some dude who was like a necromancer or something but then like his fucking wife and child died so it was like oh man that sucks like that that's a bummer so you know he's like a necromancer so he like decided to try to resurrect them but then he got like fused into like or the three of them all got fused into like one bean or, or yeah not bean but bean oh, i can't i can't say that right oh my god oh man wait wait, wait wait they got fused into one human being okay whatever i give up it's whatever i guess i'm saying it right but to me i, I feel like i'm saying fucking beans like i got a fart or something dude oh no i don't want to fall down there mm-mm but yeah, that's that's pretty much the story. Like they got fused together, man, and uh, that's 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 the short version. There's more to it than that, but I'm gonna leave it there because uh, you know I don't really want to fuck around with those beans anymore. <laughs> All right, let me come over here, and this this is actually not good. No, oh, this is really not good. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to figure out something to like one shot these guys. Okay, good. I got one humanity. I'm gonna pop that shit. I don't want to die here. Like that that's the worst. Alright, there's so many crazy jumps here, by the way, guys. If you've never seen the jumps, they are fucking ridiculous and awesome as hell. Uh, of course, I can't do them because my name's Jumping and I suck at jumping. But, uh, oh, oh God, la -ha, la -ha, get wrecked. But there is some cool-ass jumps. Same with Blight Town. If you've ever seen, like, the speedrunners do, like, Blight Town, oh, my God. Like, they just, they have, like... The biggest balls, dude, seriously. They just jump off the side like it ain't shit. Then they land on some shit. Then they roll off that shit. And it's like, dude, for reals? Okay, am I a cleric? Let me see. Oh, no, no, no. I guess I told him I was a cleric earlier. Well, uh, fuck you. Oh, oh, shit, dude. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I done goofed. Whatever. I'm trying to think. Is there anything that he, like, is important for? I don't know, I would imagine since I fucking attacked him, I would think he, uh, will not kick me off the edge now, right? I would hope not. Okay, well, let me rest here. And I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode, guys. So I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe, and I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day and peace out. Hey guys, before I end this video, I wanted to quickly show you my Gravity custom-made hand-painted shoes. They are really, really awesome. And this is a great way that you can help support my YouTube channel. If you guys are interested, I will put a link in the description. And you should totally go and check these shoes out.